Welcome to the You Can Do It channel. So today we're going to install a shower pan. It's a steel on porcelain uh, shower pan. And we're going to show you how to do that plus the Odie two-part PVC shower base drain assembly. Uh, we're going to show you how to put that in as well. Um, I'm standing on our freshly, actually it's cured now, um, the underlayment. It's made by Maypay. Um, it's a self-leveling concrete underlayment and our floor in here was, it wasn't level at all. <clears throat> and we were trying to figure out, scratching our heads, how we were going to be able to level it. We supported it underneath nice and uh, tight. So uh, it's cured. And I'm going to show you how um, this whole thing turned out. We got some foam plug over here where we cut the existing hole for the drain and we put some foam. I'm going to show you how that turned out as well. Um, here, here's the shower pan. This is the product. It's a Boots Shower Cast Porcelain on Steel. We decided to go with the porcelain on steel instead of a fiberglass. We don't have anything against a fiberglass, but we figured this would be a real solid product. So stay tuned. If you wanted to see the video on how we laid this self-leveling Maypay floor, you can go back and see our other videos. So stay tuned. Here we go. The first step that we do in this process is to take out that plug that Chris had installed prior to putting in that Maypay self-leveler floor system. It's like a liquid concrete that just levels out a very uneven floor and we're extremely pleased with how well this system worked and how super easy it was. It was an inch and a quarter at its thickest, which is about the max for the Maypay uh, recommendations. Now Chris is installing the shower pan. We're doing just what is called a dry fit, which means you install the system, make sure it is level both front to back and left to right. Because the shower pan itself has a natural quarter inch plumber's fall every foot, the uh, pan itself should be perfectly level so that that system operates the way it was designed to operate. And it is, in fact, level, which is great news for us. It's just a matter of installing it now the way the manufacturer recommended it to be installed. So as you can see, left to right, it's nice and level. And then again, front to back, it is perfectly level. So we are pleased again with how that self-leveling Maypay floor system worked for us. Then what Chris is doing right here is he's drawing a line on the back lip of the shower pan. That will be a guide for him when he pulls the shower pan away and gets ready to install the 2x4 ledger board in the back. So he takes a um, scrap piece of hardy back and he measures from the lip down to the level piece of hardy back so he knows how far down from that line he just drew to draw a new line for where that uh, two by four needs to be placed. So as you can see on the back wall there's that original line he drew from the lip uh, across the back of the shower pan and now he is drawing down I believe it was one and a quarter inch down and he's drawing that all the way across. That was the, the uh, height of the back lip of the shower pan. Of course, shower pans vary, so just follow this system when you're doing yours. And then you should have a no flawed installation. He is now taking that two by four. He did pre-drill it uh, so that it would be an easy install with those screws and he's making sure that it's nice and level and it is at the height now of where that lip should be. He is installing wood screws and he's putting it right into the studs of the original wall. And of course he transferred over exactly where their studs were onto that sheetrock so that it would not be an issue with reinstallation of uh, something right into the studs. And now of course he is doing that nice fit to make sure that everything again runs properly. 
And then of course, you can never be too sure. So make sure that you just check it out, that it really is in fact level again, both front to back, side to side. We're at the part where we're gonna install the two piece shower drain assembly. There's a proper way to do this. And if you don't get the order um, of the rings properly set, um, you'll have leaks and you don't want to have leaks especially after you um, screw this all down and tile the whole shower and normally we'll test it and make sure there's leaks before any of that goes but so this is how it goes now this is a two-piece um, we'll be gluing PVC into the base of this some have a rubber gasket in there where you can adjust the pipe we're not going with that we have plenty of room underneath the house to be able to install the drain pipe so what you're gonna what this is gonna require is you're gonna need some plumbers putty and you're gonna take plumbers putty this is OD stain free plumbers putty so we're gonna roll a rope size about a quarter size plumbers putty and you're gonna we're gonna we're gonna install it around here so when this thing tightens down the excess will ooze out and we'll just peel it off I have parchment paper here um, you can you can just roll it with your hands I'm just I had some here at the house so I'm just using it so I don't pick up any uh, contaminants or pieces of whatever wood and you get it in here so when you tighten it down you've got something in there so I'm just gonna get this guy rolled out here need, might need a little bit more the more the better it's all gonna ooze out any excess you just want to make sure you have enough you want to make sure it's solid the whole thing's solid there isn't any it's like, you know, nice and solid quarter inch little rope here. So we go, we put it all on there, kind of smash it in just a little bit. So this piece here is gonna go in here. You wanna make sure this is all cleaned out. There's no debris in here, nice and clean. We're gonna just kind of set that in there Make sure it's somewhat centered in there. It does have a little bit of play. Just like that. So over on the back side here, you're going to place the rubber gasket first over the, oh, the uh, threads here. Then the friction ring. You don't want to throw this away. This is very important because the friction ring allows this piece here, when you go to tighten it up, it doesn't, it doesn't bunch up the rubber and cause any unnecessary issues. So they also give you a tool that goes inside the drain here where you can insert a screwdriver to hold it steady that's this guy right here and then you'll see these little ridges in there and you're gonna hold that steady while you're turning it the other side you don't want to over tighten it but you do want to tighten it now I have a pair of channel locks I'm just going to just give it one turn you'll probably you just don't want to you don't want to squeeze it too hard because you could crack the PVC but I'm just gonna hold it gently here and just give it one slight turn uh, maybe another one here you can see it oozing out maybe just a little bit more here want to 
And that's good right there. We're going to go with that. And once you clean all the excess plumber's putty, you can install your drain cover at any time. There's a film over it. You just want to make sure you peel all that off when you go to finish it out. Now that the shower drain has been installed as a permanent installation, it is now time to carefully lower that shower pan into place. You don't want to crack the PVC on that drain. So Chris is keeping a real close eye on how carefully he reinstalls that. And again, he's just pushing down, getting it right into place. It should be a really nice snug fit. And then one more time, we are checking to verify that it is in fact level, both front to back, side to side, before we finalize the shower installation. The last thing that Chris is going to be doing here is he is taking three inch screws with a small washer attached to it and he is putting just a few screws carefully, nice and slow, across the back of that shower pan that helps to keep it in place so that it does not shift or move. And of course, those screws are going right into those pre-drawn stud marks that he had done. So finally, this shower is ready for hardy back and tile and, of course, a nice warm shower. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to watch our next video of hardy back installation. <laughs>